Wow. When there's a big news story or political story in particular, we can get inundated by the media, especially now that we have social media too. News and events are really at our fingertips and we can get a lot of information. Sometimes that can cause some real news exhaustion or political stress and exhaustion. When there's a big news story, the media can cover it exhaustively. That can really impact us or stress us out if there's some real conflict with our own values and beliefs or if we feel a little threatened. My life, my family, job security, or the economy. If it hits close to home, we tend to pay a lot more attention, sometimes too much attention, and that can really increase our stress levels. In particular, when there's different views or whatever's in the news really differs from our own values, it can polarize us as people, where we have a very different view than maybe our neighbors or our friends. And that can cause us to feel really divided, which isn't very useful. Knowing news or political exhaustion might be impacting you. There's steps that you can take First, limit your consumption of the news. We don't actually need to know everything and every bit of coverage that there is. Also, avoid discussions about that news or political item, particularly if you know it's going to result in conflict. That's not very productive. Anxiety or stress about what might happen out of the news is not productive. So try and stay in the present and limit your worrying about the future. Look at the bigger picture. Really, there are major stressors. There's significant events that happen, but life also goes on. So avoid catastrophizing or assuming that the worst will definitely be the outcome. News is a tool or resource for us, but it shouldn't really lead or control our lives. Here's an idea. Why don't you engage with the stress of the news or politics? Figure out your values and your beliefs. If you feel challenged, that's a really great time for us to think a lot more about what we truly value or believe in. Even better, why don't you try uniting with someone who has very different views from your own? It's easy to stay divided, but we actually learn more from people who are very different than us. If you feel passionately about something, if it's worrying you or stressing you out, try going and speaking to people who have the opposite views of what you have. Social psychology tells us that we both need one another and grow and learn from one another. So engaging with people that have those different views can help you to get a richer understanding of either the news event itself or the political situation, or maybe you just have a richer and deeper understanding of your own values and beliefs and views. And that's a lot more productive than anxiety and stress over what's happening in the news or with politics.